I'm about to take you on a journey into agricultural gadget purgatory. <laughs> Meet the VEVOR feed pellet mill. This thing promises to turn random feed, straw, corn, heck, even hay, into perfectly uniform five millimeter pellets with its so-called efficient three kilowatt pure copper motor and steelized rollers. You can almost hear the marketing team hype it up. Best friend to chickens, pigs, sheep, and your existential dread. Let's see if that's legit or just interdimensional nonsense. The specs read like it belongs in a sci-fi farm. Three tempered steel rollers, a five millimeter grinding disc, auto geared gearbox, and an emergency stop button slapped on for safety theater. Wheels on the bottom give it that I might move someday vibe. But as we peer deeper into the maelstrom, the manual lays out some practical expectations. Yes, it can crank out pellets that store well, resist moisture, and may even kill pathogens with compression heat, but only if if you respect the humidity rules. Raw materials need around 8 to 15% moisture and a proper oil and gearbox ritual or things go haywire fast. Your last brain cell just died imagining sludge in that gearbox. Now buyer sentiment mostly whispers in Reddit corners, throws shade on Vivor's customer service and quality. They don't do any quality control, just reship boxes, one person says. Another calls them cheat tier equipment, fine for weekend warriors, but not professionals. Spoiler alert, there's zero confidence in long-term support or spare part availability. A red flag parade incoming. So, where does that leave us? If you're DIY farming and crave cheap pellet production, this thing might get the job done for now if you treat it like a fragile pet. Oil daily, monitor moisture, and don't expect follow-up support. But if you actually need reliability or warranty coverage, this is industrial-grade nonsense at best. Verdict? Use this if you're garage-level experimenting, hands-on, and risk-tolerant, but avoid buying it thinking it'll perform like a pro-grade machine. Mother of Pearl. Buyer beware. If you dig this, let me know how it runs for you, or send your horror stories. <laughs> Maybe I'll investigate next.